Do you want me to take out now, Mother Harbor? You don't have to ask me that every time, Mickey. Just take out whatever box you want. I'm going to take a light one out and put it on top of the china. Fine. <laughs> Which one's the lightest? How do I know? Do you think I weighed every box in this room? Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why didn't I call beacons? <laughs> Oh, sure you do. Don't you tell me whether I'm feeling adventurous or not. Oh, now, Mama, come on, moving out of here was your idea. I mean, for months now, all I've ever heard you talking about was how cozy them apartments are over at the Oakdale Senior Arms and how much your friend Ms. Nimmons loves living over there and how you think this place now is just too big for you. Well, it is. It hadn't been the same since your father died. I know, Mama. He died right up there in that bathroom, Eunice. I know, Mama. I swear sometimes when I go in there, I still see him sitting there. <laughs> but, Mama, just look at it this way. Over at the Oakdale, you won't see Daddy sitting in that brand new shiny bathroom you're gonna have now, will you? This neighborhood is going downhill, too. Every color of the rainbow's moving in here. <laughs> I'm gonna take this chair now, Mother Harbor. You take whatever you want, Vicky. Can't you get that through your thick skull? Right. <laughs> Mama, you ought to take it easy on that poor jerk. After all, he is giving up his Sunday to help you move. I don't care. He's a little twerp. How does he get his shoe tied in the morning? <laughs> You ought to give away some of these pots and pans to the Goodwill on account of you ain't gonna be doing much cooking over there. They got a real nice cafeteria in the lobby. Yes, I know, I know. I ate there the last time I went over to visit Mrs. Nimmons. I swear I didn't see anybody there that was under a hundred. Oh, my Why are you acting this way? It was your idea to move out of this place, and it was your idea to put everybody through hell trying to help you pack up. Well, I changed my mind. What? Well, I went back over there for another visit, and I decided I didn't like it. It was just awful, Eunice. I came out of Ms. Nimmons' apartment, and this crazy old man was coming down the hall humming to himself without any pajama bottoms on. <laughs> I had to go back in and sit down for an hour. <laughs> Mom, I don't understand. What kind of a stunt are you trying to pull here? You already paid them your first month's and your last month's rent. Well, I don't care. Did you know that they say once you move in over there, they don't ever let you back out? Now, who told you that? Well, somebody I met over there, and don't you shout at me. Mama, you have to move in over there. They're not gonna give you your money back. I don't care. Let them keep it. Let them keep it? What? My Lord, coming from you, you're the biggest tight wad that ever drew a breath. <laughs> remember when I was seven years old and you took me to the zoo and I asked you to buy me a vanilla ice cream with chocolate sprinkles on it and you wouldn't on account it was three cents extra and you are gonna let them keep your money? <laughs> How can they keep it when I haven't sent it in yet? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I meant to, Eunice. I wrote the check out and I took it out to the mailbox and something just kept tugging my arm back and a little voice inside me said, Thelma, don't you do it. You won't be happy there. You won't be happy there. You won't be happy there. All right, all right, all right, all right, Mama, but just answer me one thing. What are you planning on doing with all of this junk that you're having Mickey Hart load into his U-Haul? Well, I don't know. We can just ride around town with it till I find a place I like. <laughs> If you don't find a place 
makes you lie. Well, there's always motel. Motel? Oh, in a pinch, I could move in with crazy Mrs. Boylan oh, next door. Lord, I got a good what? picture of that. I got a good idea. I could always bunk in with you for a night or two. <laughs> now, Mama, Mama, you, you, you just get a grip on yourself here. <laughs> uh, Ma, I tell you what we're gonna do, Mama. We will we'll drive over there to the Oakdale Senior Arms, and if your apartment has already been taken, well, then we will find you someplace where you can live temporarily. We, we, we'll you do don't that. want no. me for even a night I, or two. I Is that what you're saying, say that. I didn't say that, darling Mama dear. No, I did not say that. What I meant was I mean, you, know, you just have to have a place of your own to settle in. Don't you don't understand? Don't you take my table out. I may not even be moving. Mama, you have to move out of here. Take it out, Mickey. You leave my table here. <laughs> and I said take it out! <laughs> you should call him back. Don't you let him do this to me. He's turning Mama. me out of my house and home. Mama, now sit down, Mama, and just calm down. Now, if you, Mama, please look at me, Mama. Mama, Mama, look at me, Mama. <laughs> Mama, will you, Mama, will you please look at me? <laughs> now, you gotta understand. You and me, we just can't live together. I mean, we're, we're two grown women. We are too set in our ways. It would never work out. I mean, well, look, for one thing, you don't like the way I keep house, and you don't like the same TV shows I do. Eunice, I am not one to impose or push myself off on anyone. When somebody close to me, my own flesh and blood, doesn't want me around anymore, well, then I just pull back forever. It's just that you need me, Eunice. I could be paying you rent instead of paying them Oakdale people. And I can help you raise them two boys of yours. They're gonna end up two juvenile delinquents unless somebody with a little bit of sense steps in. You've already driven your husband away. You ain't got no talent, no skills, no brains, no money. You drink too much. You don't eat enough. Hell, if I leave you on your own, you're gonna end up sitting on a sofa somewhere, dead of starvation, with a can of beer in your hand and an open movie magazine on your lap. Thank you for that summary of my life, Mama. Now can we continue packing and get you over there to the Oakdale? Right here. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I think it was 1957. Oh, was... shut up! Right. <laughs> I don't know why I ever expected a little bit of kindness. Listen, old lady. <laughs> you are not going to make me feel guilty on account of I got my own life to live. You oh, understand? Oh, well, go ahead. Just go. to get out from under your thumb and I am out. I am living in my own house alone and I like it. It is peachy keen because I don't have anybody there to say, hey, Eunice, your kitchen table is sticky. Or Eunice, look at all them grease balls under the ice box. <laughs> well, if you honestly think that I would be fool enough to let you move in under the same roof with me? I mean, what kind of a chump do you think I am? <laughs> I was thinking, I don't think it could have been 1957. Because if it had snowed, I'd have been out there making a snowman. Because I, I remember one time Ed and I made a snow woman. We made these two little snowballs and put them right Well, you the get out there and you bring my stuff back in. I'm not moving. Move it, move it. Mama, you have to move. You can't stay in this house. It is sold. You can't stay here one more day. Just a darn minute. <laughs> There comes a time when a guy's got to put his foot right down. I put it down. 
Now, Mother Harper, are we or are we not taking all this furniture over to Eunice just like you said? <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, she told me we we're going to take I said no first. such thing. I said maybe. So, you've been planning on moving in on me all this time. Boy, Happy, I thought you had hit an all-time low when I was a child and you cooked my pet rabbit fluffy and fed him to me for dinner. <laughs> But this time you have hit rock bottom. Now, you are going over to the Oakdale Senior Arms if I have to call the fuzz and have them drag you over. <laughs> now, you don't load up all this stuff in that U-Haul. Well, now, just a minute. Yes, I don't know whether you thought this all the way through or not, but you know it might be kind of nice to have somebody around in the evenings, you know, when you're playing them games. I said load it up! I'm on my way. <laughs> Well, I think uh, you can manage the rest without me. I'll check in on you in a couple of weeks at the Oakdale Senior Arms. Until then, goodbye, Mother. Get this straight. <laughs> Over there at my house, you are on my turf. You understand? Now, I don't want any suggestions on how to take care of my house, on the food I serve, on the hours I keep, or how I take care of my boys. You are a guest over there. You got that. I got it. I won't even come out of my room except to use the bathroom or to eat. All right. You're only gonna be there at the most for a week or two, at the very most. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. 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 Let's finish packing. <laughs> you know, Eunice, I think it's kind of silly for me to pay you as much rent as I was going to pay them Oakdale people. I mean, they got a janitor, and they got music in the lobby, and they got that elevator, and they got that real nice cafeteria. And besides, you're going to get a lot of use out of a lot of my things. Thank you. 